What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited because I'm bringing you guys one of my favorite decks of all time and that is Dino but not just any Dino build it's branded Dino one of the spiciest ways to play Dino in today's format and I think this deck is insanely powerful and the best thing about this deck is I can go first and go second and still be very very competitive so if you guys enjoy these videos make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content whether you guys like the deck profiles now also i should mention the combo video is going to be tomorrow's video so you guys should check that out make sure to stay tuned for that but i'm really excited to be bringing you guys this deck profile so i'm not going to keep you guys any further any longer i hope you guys enjoy and with that onto the deck profile okay so to get started off with the deck profile of course we're going to be starting off with triple ov raptor triple baby and one petite these are the ratios that i've been really liking i don't Think i changed these ratios up at all but obviously ov and baby is just full combo and if you guys want to see the combo video that's actually going to be tomorrow's video so make sure you guys are subscribed and stay tuned because i'm going to be doing a combo video for the deck but essentially ov and baby is always going to be combo for you and it's a really strong combo i think it puts up four disruptions just those two which is really really powerful so yeah i really like these ratios i wouldn't change these at all then we're playing two archosaur two conductor one misc one prank one giant rex and the latest addition to the deck is the one Quatless. Now, Quatless for the longest time has been dumped from the deck and just people don't play it. But now with the branded package, this card is really, really important. And the reason for that is Quatless is actually really good because it's a dark that can make Lubellion for you and then it gets you a pill right away. So just Brandon Fusion on its own essentially gets a Mirror Jade plus a Conductor on your side of the field, which is very, very powerful. So that's why you want to be playing the Quatless. I really, really like this card and I wouldn't cut this at all. So that's it for the Dino count. I don't think I'd play more of any of these. I think these are the perfect ratios. I wouldn't change these up at all. Next up for the dino spells, and I'm going to be doing this by engines, not so much by monster spells and traps. So by the engine, essentially. So for the dino spells, of course, we're playing triple fossil dig as well as double, double evolution pill. Wouldn't change these. You got to play these two. And then really the reason I'm playing this at two is because it's always going to be searchable. You have multiple ways to search it now with your quad list back in the deck. So two is perfectly fine. Drawing it is not the worst thing in the world, but you'd rather not draw it. But I did want to say, notice how we're not playing lost world. Lost world is a really, really good card. Don't get me wrong. The thing is it protects you from targeting, right? Think about the best card in the game, right? now that's mirror jade and what i mean by that is mirror jade itself might not be the best card in the game but every deck is making it think about every deck in the meta right now even if it's not branded despia you got tri branded you got branded dino i've even seen branded hero there's so many different branded decks and it's a non-target banish so the thing is with lost world is it's really cool to get the token on and sometimes it does help you combo but the thing is going second it's not really going to be doing that much for you and on top of that if it's not protecting you which was one of its main purposes it's not that powerful in my opinion so we actually cut it completely from the deck this is a going second build by the way i should mention that this is a going second build however this deck can still go first now obviously it's a blind second deck but if you're forced to go first there's still a lot of combos with this deck so i just wanted to mention that so next up for the albaz engine we are playing two fallen of albaz triple branded fusion and then this is technically not an albaz card but we're playing triple super poly i'm just gonna put it in here because it kind of is the same thing let's be honest now i'll be real with you super poly is a dumb card like we are going second we're going to be blinding second every time so super poly is a great great card in today's format especially with all the fusion monsters and all the boards that can pretty much just lose to super poly and the fact that this card cannot be responded to is really dumb i'm going to be real with you this card's insanely powerful you're not going to be using too much of your extra deck so that's why you want to be playing these of course brand fusion if you draw into it is a great card that's why i'm playing two of the fallen of albaz not just the one i was playing the one for a while but i decided the second one's really good also the second one's really nice because you guys will see when we get into the extra deck there's ways to special summon this on your end phase and sometimes if your opponent has a board let's say and, and you didn't break the entire board or even otk them you can summon this on your end phase and then this acts essentially as a super poly for you which helps you breaks boards on the end phase so that's why fallen albaz i like it at two i've been testing these ratios and i've been having so much fun with it so yeah i really like this card at two Next for the hand traps, we're actually funny enough playing a good amount of hand traps. We're playing triple gamma as well as one driver. Of course, gamma is just insane in this format and it works really, really well in dino itself. So that's why I really like gamma. Also, because we're going second every single time, gamma is just so powerful against today's meta. And I also want to mention because you're playing stuff like fossil dig, branded fusion, all these spell cards that can get ashed and you're going to pretty much start all your plays with your spell cards anyways, then you're going to just gamma right there and you're perfectly fine. So the thing is, you guys are going to see that this card is just super powerful in dino specifically because blinding second every single time, this card's always pretty much live and because you're starting your combos with spell cards anyways these are always going to be live so that's why i really like these and then we're playing of course triple ash the best hand trap in the game right now you need to be playing this and triple imperm imperm is really good because you're going second you're pretty much always going to have this live now keep in mind that even if you're going second and you draw into this as your sixth card unlike some of these cards like ash 
If you draw into this as your sixth card, it's still very, very powerful. Because if your opponent sets up a board, you can just start your turn off by activating Imperm and stopping one of their disruptions. So that's why I think Imperm is really, really powerful. You need to be playing three of this. So this is our hand trap lineup. We're playing a decent amount of hand traps. I'm just going to end off the deck here, which is one Duster, one Called By, and one Burial. I know these are technically not hand traps, but I just wanted to show these off. We're playing 41 cards in the main deck. Now, Foolish, of course, is really good because now you have another target in Quatlist. So I really like this card. Called By the Grave, of course, is really powerful. Going first and going second, Called By the Grave is great. Because even when you're going second, if your opponent has like a branded and red set, of course we're talking about the meta here, right? Because this is a competitive deck profile here. So if you're going second and your opponent has a branded and red set and you, you know, you start your combos or whatever and they go branded and red summon Chimera, they have to target a card in their graveyard first. So you can call by the grave that card and then they branded and red doesn't go off. So this card is insanely powerful in that sense as well. And there's just so many other ways because of course train traps and so many different cards that you can call by, which is great. And then we're playing the one duster just because I don't have any back row removal in this deck. And I was thinking if we're blinding second every time, there is a chance we go against Eldlich. There is a chance we go against Striker and then Harpy's Feather Duster is just really good into that. So obviously I just wanted to play this. In the side deck, I'm not going to be showing you guys the side deck today, but in the side deck, of course, you're going to be wanting to play more back row hate, especially something like Cyclone and Twin Twister. Those are really good because again, you can hit cards like the Branded in Red before you start your plays, which forces them to use it, which means they get nothing out of it. But then also you can hit cards like back row and skill drain and all that other stuff that back row decks play. So that's why you definitely want to be siding back row hate. But in the main deck, I'm just playing the one of this and it's been working really well for me. So moving on to the extra deck here, we are playing double Mirror Jade, double Lubelion, double Albion. I really like these ratios. You're going to make these more than once most of the time unless you OTK your opponent, which is very possible. You can OTK your opponent very easily in this deck, but there are chances where you don't. And when you don't, obviously multiple of these do come up. And then on top of that, we're playing one Sprint as well as one Titanoclad. So these cards are other targets for you. Mostly these cards are just send targets for Mirror Jade. And this is what I was talking about earlier when I was talking about sending or special summoning the Albaz, I should say, on your end phase. So both of these cards have the effect where on the end phase, when they're sent to the graveyard, you can special summon a Fallon of Albaz from your deck. So when you do that in your end phase, you can activate the Fawn of Albaz effect. And then essentially what you can do is you can super poly away your opponent's board. So that's why I really like these two cards. They're both pretty much just send targets. Now you guys are going to see we're actually not playing Omega. And I do want to say that Omega is actually really powerful in this deck, of course, because we are playing the Gamma package. So if you guys want to, and I'm going to just say this now, if you guys want to, you can cut one of these two. I also like these two as well, just, just a side note. These are also really good super poly targets because this just needs an effect monster summon that turn. And this just needs a monster with 2,500 or more attack. This is actually really good because you can super poly away the end pin in the flunder matchup so titanic cloud is good there but yeah these are decent super poly targets but if you guys really wanted to play omega i would cut the sprint and then play the omega instead so that's the only thing that i would change but i think i'm really liking these two the omega never comes up like yes in theory it does but it never really comes up in game and then on top of that i do want to say that if you're going to gamma on your turn anyways a lot of time you can just use that gamma for uh, link fodder if you need to go into verte or you need to go into pentastag so again one of these two is perfectly optional like you don't need to be playing one or the other whatever you guys prefer for me i like the sprint in this deck just because it gives me another target off the mirror jade to send so that's why i'm playing that but i just want to show you guys the omega is another possible target and then we are playing one draco sapilia as well as one mud dragon these two cards are insanely powerful of course with super poly these cards are great this is especially in today's format is so powerful it's a negate for you as well mud dragon just helps you break boards so you of course want to be playing these two next you're playing of course the one verte anaconda the one pentastag as well as the one link karibo link karibo is very important because part of your combo you need to get this in the graveyard so that you can make your pill live essentially so that's why you're playing the one of these pentastag comes up it helps you otk and yeah of course verte is very important for sometimes if your combos get stopped if your plays get stopped you can just go into Verte, Verte go to Branded, and then you go into Mirror Jade, which Mirror Jade is just such a powerful card. So you definitely need to be playing these. And then lastly, I'm playing one Logia as well as one Dolka in the main deck. These don't come up too often now because Branded does lock you into Fusion Summons, unfortunately. However, there are times when you are forced to go first, you can actually end up making one of these two. Most of the time, you are going to make the Dolka, but you do end up making one of these two. Again, if you guys want to see the combo, it'll be tomorrow's video. So make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you guys are staying tuned because I'm going to be showing you guys the combo video. But essentially, you do make one of these in your combo when you're going first and it's very very powerful for you so this is why you still want to be playing the one on the one now you guys saw that i'm not playing extravagance or prosperity in the main deck i don't think you need it the deck is very very consistent now so that's why we're just playing one ofs of pretty much everything we need i know some people still like to play extrav prosperity and whatnot you would have to change the ratios up around a little bit if you guys wanted to do that but I think my deck's been super, super consistent for me. Very, very powerful. It steals a lot of games. And the, the deck just going first and going second is very powerful, which is why I think it's so good. So that's it for the deck profile. Really, I wanted to show you guys these. Again, the thing is with this deck is there's so many different options you guys can do. And I really like how powerful the branded engine actually made Dino. It's actually made Dino, I think, very relevant again, and people are sleeping on it. So I think you guys should try it out for yourselves. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy 
that was dino branded now i've been testing these ratios and i've been liking it a lot i really really like how this deck is built going first it has some really cool combos going second it can otk at the end of the day you're playing dino you're playing board breakers this deck is insanely powerful you guys should try it out you guys will have so much fun with it especially if you're a dino enthusiast this is the evolution of the dino deck so i hope you guys did enjoy make sure to like and subscribe if you guys did stay tuned for the combo video tomorrow like i said earlier also if you guys haven't already checked out the channel membership and become a part of the cypher squad you guys should check it out you guys get some perks with that so i really hope you guys enjoyed i'm gonna end it off there with that spanko sign it out peace